Hello fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at the DX Blazerstone EX New Generation Star Set 01 from Ultraman Blazer. So I'm not 100% sure of the significance of this set and I do believe that we've had all of these stones before in the usual format. But this is kind of like a new gold rainbow set. I don't really know if this appeared in the show. But then again, I don't think any of the like past Ultraman stones appeared in the show. So I, I don't know what the significance of this set is, but I thought I'd check it out. Um, so this set includes Blazer, Ginga, Victory, Orb Origin, Jeed, Rosso, Blue, and Grigio. So those are the eight stones that are included here. Uh, front of the packaging, not really much going on. You got uh, Blazer and Ginga. Got a little cutouts here for all the stones. And then if we take a look at the back, kind of a cool picture of all of the Ultramen slash Ultra Women that are included in this set. And then, of course, they are going to work with the Blazer Brace. We'll take a look at that. Uh, but, yeah, pretty simplistic packaging. They didn't go for the bubble on card this time. They kind of went for this cool little box, which is, you know, it's a nice little box. Not really much to it in terms of design or anything. But, you know, it's good. So I'm going to go ahead and get these out of the packaging here, and we'll take a closer look. So here are the eight stones out of the packaging. We'll start, of course, with Ultraman Blazer. So you can see most of these kind of have this translucent quality to them. They're mostly clear, but then they have kind of a nice gold chrome here that gives kind of a hollow foil effect, which is kind of fun. Uh, now, I have two versions of Blazer, and I don't know what the difference is between the two of these that I have. But just spinning over on the back here, I wanted to compare the rail system. So you can see that that one is different, and that one is also different, and these two are different from each other. So I have no idea what this one's going to do in the Blazer Brace. I assume it's, you know, just going to be the standard thing, and I don't know why the rail system is different, but it's kind of cool. And it, it's, this outer level of plastic almost has kind of like a, a pinkish tint to it. I can't really, I don't know if they're supposed to be like quartz or something. Uh, but I don't know, it's kind of neat. I mean, if you haven't collected any of these up till now, maybe this is kind of like a fun set that you could pick up just because, you know, I feel like these are nice and, and more bright and colorful. So like the original ones weren't bad, but I kind of like these better just in terms of like they're brighter, they're easier to see. The chrome, the gold chrome really stands out. I mean, these had the same kind of hollow foil effect. Now, for these two, for Ginga, you can see that the rail systems are exactly the same. So, I'm not sure, you know, why Blazers is different, but I would imagine that this will make the same uh, sounds and, and effects in the Blazer Brace as the original, because the rail systems are the same for that one. Uh, here is Victory, comparing it to Victory's previous stone. Again, the rail systems are the same, if I line this up correctly which I still have not done. There we go. <laughs> so you can see that those are the same. But it looks pretty good. I do like the gold. They all kind of have, like, the inner plastic is kind of a, a tinted translucent color, and then you kind of have, like, a pinkish hue to the outer, slightly more opaque plastic. And then last... For the first set here is Orb Origin, and this is the last of the ones that I have the previous version for. The others might be in one of the sets that I just haven't picked up yet, which is very possible. I'd have to go back and research that. Again, you can see the rail systems here are the same. But there is Orb Origin. So then uh, next up here we have, um, this is Jeed Primitive, and then we have Rosso here. And this one's kind of pink, this one's kind of red. I mean, obviously they would make Rosso's red. I don't know why they chose pink for Jeed. Here are the rail systems on the back. And then last up here we have blue, which of course has the blue tinted plastic. And then Grigio has kind of a yellowish, which makes sense. Kind of orange, kind of yellow. So these look pretty cool. Like I said, I do like the overall motif for these um, with the kind of pinkish white plastic, almost like a quartz, you know, going on around the outside. I don't know. Everything just kind of has like a much more bright, like rainbow effect when you have these all together, as opposed to these, which, you know, they all just seemed kind of dark. I mean, they did have some different colors going on as well, but I don't know. I kind of like these better. They're just a little bit 
brighter and kind of easier to tell what's going on. But let's go ahead, let's bring in the brazer, brazer, <laughs> blazer brace. I can't talk. Let's bring it in. All right, so let's get started with Blazer himself. So I think that's pretty similar to the standard blazer transformation. So I think those sounds after the transformation are different. So I think that's the only thing different in terms... Like the transformation is the same, but then the two, one or two phrases afterwards might be unique to this stone. Uh, next up we will pop in Ginga here, although this sound should be the same as the previous one. The motor on this thing is so ridiculously loud. Alright, next up we have Victory. That's kind of cool. I like the yellow V and the red there. That's pretty neat. Next up, Orb Origin. I really like the transformation there. You get that little bit of the like flute and then it does the four quadrants of the orb caliber even though it kind of looks like a Simon game. All right, up next we have Jeed Primitive. That's pretty cool. I like that a lot, too. <laughs> then we have Rosso. So that's kind of cool. It makes the kanji for fire. I like that.
Ultraman Blue. And that one makes the kanji for water. And last but certainly not least, we have Ultra Woman Grigio. That was weird. Hold on, let me try that again. Didn't quite take. There we go. Kind of simplistic, but that was kind of neat how the purple gradually changed to the blue. I love the happy. Yeah. All right, so I believe that's all eight of them. Uh, like I said, I don't think any of these are exclusive to this, although maybe this version of Blazer is slightly different. Um, but I know the other ones have been available previously. Uh, I showed you four of them, but like I said, I think the other four have been available in other sets that I just haven't reviewed yet. Um, yeah, this is just kind of a fun, brighter, more rainbowy take on these. Um, you know, are they necessary? Probably not. If you've been collecting all the other ones up until now, probably not going to really get much in terms of new sounds out of the Blazer Brace. But if you never collected anything and, you know, you just like to look at these better and so you want to grab this set instead of buying the previous ones, it might be a good jumping in point. Uh, this is New Generation Stars Set 1. There is a second one coming out soon. I think either later this month or early next month. So again, if you collected all the ones up until now, you probably don't need these because you're not really going to get anything new out of them except for the new aesthetic. But if you never got the other ones and you're just looking for a couple nice compact sets to get most of the Ultraman characters that you're familiar with, these might be a nice option for you. I don't think they were terribly expensive from what I remember it's like 15 to 20 bucks before shipping, something like that. I might not be remembering 100% correctly, but that's kind of what I think they were. I think they were like around 2,000 yen, which after conversion is probably about 15 bucks. So, you know, it, it's eight nice stones. You know, functionality-wise, not really a lot new here, but aesthetic-wise, definitely have a new look. And I kind of like this look better. I'll be honest, if this is what we had gotten from the beginning, I think I would have been happier just because... I don't know, they're just brighter, a little bit more fun, easy to see, easier to see what's going on with the stones. The other ones were kind of dark. Now maybe that was because of the tone of the show, so I don't know, maybe that's what they're going for. But I just kind of think these are a little bit more fun. But again, nothing really new functionality-wise. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and as always, thanks so much for watching.